What's up guys? I'm the washer and dryer guy. I've been repairing and refurbing washers and dryers since 2011. If this video helps you, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I will answer you. Hey guys, all right, today we're gonna to talk about the Paul's Play machines. This one in particular is the Maytag, but the same machine is used now for most of the inexpensive washers, uh, including, not to call them all inexpensive, but uh, a Mana, uh, a State, some whirlpool things like that but these are all the same transmission it's a new pause play a lot of repair guys will call them pause play because they have a little button that has a pause play symbol that starts them it's pretty much how you can know it's what i'm talking about it'll have that button and then we'll have the little dial two three four five six little lights that come across the front that's usually always the same transmission all the parts are usually the same in them all right so this is the most common problem the most common problem I see is this machine will beat itself to death. You'll hear it slamming all around. That's the number one problem. That is most of the time going to be the suspension springs. Suspension springs, I'm not gonna go how to fix all these. I'm just giving you problem by problem. Then you can look up the right video and I'm gonna make videos for all these, but suspension springs will be inside. They'll sit and hold the drum up. And it also sits on the top. I'll drop it. It's going to be this little guy. And that's where this rod will go through and hook into that. And I've heard some people say that it will be dirty and not be able to move enough for this rod. And that will cause it to go off. I have not seen this. I've tried this with a couple machines. I've always had to replace the rods. But this could be true for somebody. But I've not seen it. Usually when they start banging around, I'm going to have to replace suspension rods. They're about $30 to $50 depending on which ones they are. There's only a couple different types but they're also on Amazon. I'll try to put a link to them. All right, second most common problem would be these guys, actuators. And what these are doing is shifting the washer and it's either gonna be a red one or a black one. There's two kinds. This is just moving this arm and it will shift the washer physically. There's a little lever underneath them from agitate to spin mode. That's all it does is shift from one to the other. And this little part on top is sensing as the drum goes by. So whenever you see your washer come on, by, come on and you'll see like a little sensing light come on, it's counting how many times the drum spins because the drum passes through this little hole. There's a round spot that passes through and it's counting, I'm guessing, with light or some type of waves with these two little arms are counting. But these are the most common things to go out. When these go out, it's not going to want to drain will be one symptom, or it will be stuck in either agitation or it will be stuck in spin only. But most of the time you're gonna see it won't drain because it'll start off, it'll fill up with water, and when it gets to the spin cycle, it'll try to shift, it won't be able to shift, and it'll just shut off. And that'll be most symptoms you see for that will be these guys. And I'll make a video on that. The biggest problem with this is the part that's shifting is usually getting gummed up and it's burning this little bitty motor in the back up. So if you replace this without cleaning that part or oiling the part, it's just going to be you fixing a symptom of the actual problem. And it's probably going to burn up the next one pretty quickly, but it's real easy to do and I'll make a video on that. But that's the second most common problem. Third would be, I would say, I see these a lot, the actual uh, lid locks will go out. A lot of times they'll go out and they'll, the lid will be locked down. When they go out, there's not much you can do about it. I've tried to fix these before. The little springs will sometimes get messed up and you can just get those back in place. This little spring just pushes it back. But most of the time it burns up inside and messes up a little uh, connection and there's not much you can do about it. So it's just a pretty much a replacement. So if you're having any lid locking problems or if you notice that the lid's not locking and it's just filling with water and not doing anything, it's the lid lock. If it won't let the lid lock, it says child safety feature so they don't jump in while it's spinning or someone stick their arm in while it's spinning. It's just going to fill up with water and stop. And depending on what board they have, sometimes they won't even fill up with water if the lid's not locked. But that's the third most. I'd say the next biggest problem is going to be not filling with water because the water valves, which are coming out the back, you'll notice these, have gotten messed up. 
usually they'll either freeze or they'll just get old and maybe there's rust in the line and it will make these expand and you'll notice when you look at them they'll be broken on the inside you won't be able to see this from the outside but you'll usually first symptom you'll see is low water flow on the hot or cold side that could be the screens are blocked up so you can take the hoses off and check those real quick but if it's not blocked up it's probably going to be these guys have swollen a little bit and you're going to have to replace the whole thing because it's all made together as one big part which is not too bad of a job pretty easy but that's the next biggest problem next one after that and i'm going to show you this as an example i have a transmission off is this little guy this is what the belt goes on so the motor would sit here belt goes around this and it's got little teeth on the top and I think this may be a symptom of a problem type thing. I think it's actually going to be the actuator. This part has gone slightly out and it's lowering this slowly and the teeth aren't matching together and it's just grinding. But here's what it looks like over here. Here's a transmission. I've already taken the motor off here. If you flip the washer over, this is what you're going to see. There's going to be a motor here. A belt going around here. You'll take these two screws off, which I think these are 5 sixteenths. There's going to be a bolt here. You'll take this belt off by pulling the belt forward some and then just rolling it. And then that's off. And there's the part I was just talking about. And you'll hear a noise. If you're hearing this noise, eh, let's see if I can make it do it. That's the noise you're going to be hearing. That's going to be these gears mashing with these gears not quite hard enough. And probably what's going on is that actuator is not flipping it or more than likely it's going to be this guy is just full of grime and dirt. And to get it off, there's three tabs and I can do them now because I have this machine, but this pretty much you're going to have to have a flathead to do this. But when you have it off, it's much easier to press with your hand. Ooh, all but one. See if I can get it off. There it goes. There it goes. All right. So there's these tabs. That's why I was pushing on four of them. You just have to pull them one off at a time, being careful not to break them. And now we can kind of see what I'm talking about. That actuator is flipping this back and forth. That's all that thing is doing. And what that's actually doing. And there's a spring here. It could be the spring going bad that's not letting this push. Could be several things. Usually I open these up and they're just full of sand. So it's just three plastic parts. Super easy to clean it back out. It should easily slide back and forth. And what's happening, you can see it's going uphill as I push this. It's pushing it. It's riding a little ramp and it's just pushing it up the hill. So I use white lithium grease to fix this problem. So that's what I would suggest. But let's put it back together real quick and now you, don't you understand what is happening there. This is a real simple machine. So you can see that's just moving a little bit. So with this gear on there, with this shift this way, the whole thing spins and that would be spin mode with it flipped the other way, it pulls these two gears apart from each other. And now just the very top of this machine is moving, not the entire thing. That's agitation mode. So if I shift it again, spin, shift it, agitation. All right, so that's most of your problem is this little scary thing that no one ever wants to take off, but pretty much you can get this back on Amazon or eBay and fix a whole lot of problems that people throw this machine out for. Which I will tell you, this is not the best design. The old design obviously was better, but they're not making it anymore, so it's hardly something to complain about. All right guys, so that's the end of the video. Sorry I made it a little bit long-winded about the transmission, but I kind of wanted to go into that because a lot of people get nervous when they get to that problem and they just throw the machine away. It's not that scary. But main problems could be, number one, suspension springs. Set of four, I'll make a video on how to swap these out. If it's swapping back and forth and slapping the sides, 
swap that out. Uh, number two, actuator, the thing that shifts it back and forth. It's probably that's dirty and just has grime in it. And it's burning up this little motor. Number three, the water valves. You have lack of water and the valves in the back aren't dirty. It's probably these guys are gonna have to be replaced. If you pop them open, that might be busted. Number four is this gear that mashes on the transmission is not moving back and forth freely. It could be that spring is going out or it's more than likely just a lot of grime in there, not letting it move back and forth easily. So that's the main issues. Any questions, please uh, put them down in the comments below. Please like, subscribe. Uh, let me know how my sound's doing. I've got a new mic and uh, I really appreciate it, guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If this video helped, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And if you have any questions at all, put them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them.